Is Pokemon 151 getting ready to go on another run? We're going to take a look at some singles and some sealed product. Maybe we might have an indicator. And we're going to start off with the Charizard Special Illustration Rare. Now, it's not a... Most people know this. This ran up to $220 in October, almost mid-October. And ever since then, it's come down. Now, when a card does this, because it happened pretty quickly. It was started, from my recollection, the PSA 10 prices started just to go really high doubling, it seemed, overnight. And then the, the raw copy had to follow. And this this growth happened pretty quick. And usually when that happens, with quick, quick growth, the card has to come down. And that's exactly what happened. It came down, you know, only to about 180. So if this is the new low, high, setting higher lows is really good, uh, then that shows really great strength. Obviously 151 as a set, the community is just rabid for it, right? And the reason I'm saying that could 151 be getting ready for another run is because last time, once the Charizard took off, everything followed. Now Sealed has always been doing good. Sealed is doing even better now, but after it hit this 177 mark, it's coming up into 190, and last solds we're seeing 198. However, there is a 145, 177, 184, but then down here there's a 200 and a 250. So we'll see, but if this card continues to run after it's cooled off, usually some of the other cards will follow. And that's what we've seen, the Venusaur, the Blastoise, they all followed, they just lagged behind. So we'll see if this really is the new bottom for the Charizard. It could continue to run. I think if it passes that $200 mark, I think maybe that creates kind of a FOMO for some people because there's a psychological price point at like 200. Every like $100 mark, things start to, you know, they get in your head a little bit. So we'll see what happens. I'm not saying that it's like, yes, a bull run is another run is starting on 151. Uh, but during this time also, we were getting a lot of information from surging sparks prismatic evolution so i was wondering oh are people forgetting about 151 jumping to all the new stuff and then now that that's kind of died down surging sparks is out prismatic's pretty much been sold out for the pre-release stuff for the most part so maybe that's why we're seeing this come up i don't know if some money's coming back to 151 but sealed product is doing really well as well we got booster bundles at six we'll call it almost 60 dollars, 59 dollars market but the recent sale shows 60 63.97 24% gain on the three month chart, 30% in the past month alone. So similar thing, uh, it wasn't October though, in August, this came up and then it ran down into the 40s, almost dropped into the high 30s for a while on these booster bundles. And then they've just steadily climbed. Last sold six, they're all they're all 63s with a $70, $70 booster bundle sale. That's, that's wild. That's, I mean, I know that the set is extremely popular, but that, that just blows my mind, though, uh, honestly, that we're seeing sales at that price. Um, then we'll take a look at the Venusaur. So similar-ish, right? It was October 13th for the Charizard to run up. Now we're... This is October 19th. So the Venusaur lagged behind, and now it's come down. It's getting hit a little harder, though. We're seeing mixed sales, 55, 75, 60. So we'll see kind of where it ends up. But if it's going to delay maybe another week, a few more days, and this would see an uptick if the Charizard continues to run. It could follow. Once again, it's saying, I'm saying it could. Nothing is a guarantee. Nobody knows this market's crazy, but uh, it'd be nice to see the Venusaur, you know, get a little bit of a bounce back. Then we're going to take a look at, these are booster bundle displays. So if you're not familiar, you get 10 booster bundles in a sealed display. S similar story with this. Uh, they, they were up, they came down to the 440s, and now they're at almost 600. A, a display 26% gain in the past month alone uh, last solds though I don't know what these are I'm assuming that these are not actual booster bundle sealed displays I'm gonna assume that these aren't but there's a 680 sale 680 650 I wonder if these fake because sometimes you can put like for the booster uh, booster boxes I don't know why TCG allows it, but you can put like 36 loose packs equals a booster box, and then that's why the price is less. So I don't know what they're doing for these bundles, but uh, this is not this is right not right. So I don't know what these actual sales are. I don't know if that's bringing the price down that three these three twenties, but that seems odd to me. So yeah, you know, this one's a little odd. Then we'll take a look at the Blastoise, a s similar chart as well, right? It ran up to 78 and it's come down and s still getting hit a little hard, right? 
but last sales 62 62 60 60 60 68 but then some higher sales at 83 so we'll see if maybe 60 dollars is the new floor and the blastoise will continue to run with the charizard it's t definitely possible it's also possible that all of these cards could continue to come back down you know probably higher than this 40 50 dollar mark which i guess might be that 60 settles at 60 and that's kind of where it just sits for a little while it's kind of just both scenarios right it could you know i'm just giving you guys the options here now this one was a little surprising to me as well uh, the this is the normal elite trainer box hundred dollars so this is now a hundred dollar box i mean back here it hit 95 but 48 percent growth on the three month chart and 14 percent in the past month alone it last sold 104 then we got some 80 88s but then a 120 125 and 106 so that's yeah looks like this box is just going to continue to go up then the zapdos about 50 dollars market value similar chart as well it lagged behind same thing it ran up and now it's looks like it's cooling off 16 percent growth on the three month chart and 12 percent in the past month alone last sales are kind of all over the place 52 70 52 42 it's probably my favorite card from the set if i'm being honest uh, so it's nice to see this card going up i wish it was a higher value because i do think it deserves that personally but maybe i'm biased just because i absolutely love this card uh, which is totally possible then we have okay so upcs upcs have been expensive for a while it's not really a surprise but the growth the growth 54 percent in the last three months alone on upcs these were everywhere for 80 90 bucks forever 13 percent in the past month alone uh one year chart i mean all-time high it did crack like 200 here came back down and now it's on the uptick the last sales 214 210 210 there's a 197 but then a bunch of 210s down here so that's definitely a 200 dollars box 54 percent growth in the three month period is pretty wild we'll see where these end up you know uh, it's something i'm keeping my eye on also loose packs 22 percent growth on three months 17 18 percent in the past month the last sold's all in the nine dollar range we're seeing 998 which is almost ten dollars per pack uh yeah that's one year high obviously back here you could have gotten five bucks and they just they ran up here to seven came back down ran back up again so we're seeing a lot of these products at sealed products at one year highs all-time highs uh, this the singles we they might be ticking up again with the the charizard leading the way the the reason i was bringing that up is because like i said the charizard led the way and everything followed after that so that that's why you see start to see the charizard go up and i start to go okay this could be an indicator once again this is could but sealed product doing really well uh, the booster bundles really surprising me at 60 seeing those at 60 seems wild to me it's just like a interesting point because i was getting those for 26 28 dollars uh yeah so 151 the well with the market too with the market being what it is like it's like i was theorizing that maybe people are moving back to 151 they did the, okay i got my surging pre-orders i got my prismatic let me go back to 151 there's just so much money coming into the market there's too many good sets right now scarlet violet is the era is finally getting the credit. I mean, like, even since base set, like, base set, go back and look at the artwork at base set. The best base set we've ever had, as far as artwork goes. We got special illustration rares. The, the pull rates were easy, but there's a great Gardevoir line in the base set. Everything, everything has been good, and it's just been, like, ramping and ramping and ramping up. And 2025, I don't know what 2025 is going to be like. It's going to be wild, absolutely wild. Uh, I don't know why I'm talking about 2025 right now, but anyways, uh, 151, this set is, well, we're getting new product in February, right? We know we're getting a new box, so people will be able to get packs, they'll be able to rip cards, uh, in, but February is a ways out. This, I still think that this set is pretty primed for a massive reprint, 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 <laughs> reprint, uh, at some point, uh, if, it could be argued that we've already been in a reprint, and the 
the demand was so high we just gobbled it up totally possible but uh next year could be could be time but there's so many like we this is the crazy part you have to start thinking about they're gonna print those team rocket sets the partner sets those are gonna have insane demand what about surging sparks what about prismatic are those gonna get reprints when are they gonna reprint 151 so uh, there might be too much for them to reprint to meet demand because i think just demand is at an all-time high so anyways that's the market that's your 151 update and i think that's it yeah that's gonna do it for this one guys i'll catch you in the next one and remember it was never a phase